the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday morning, the 1st of March. Hey, first day of meteorological spring. Kick off of the spring tornado season. And guess what? We have a chance of severe weather later today. Let's talk about that. Here we go. Water vapor satellite view. Got a uh, trough axis west of the state that will provide the dynamic support for strong storms later today. And early this morning, that was the radar at 508. Storms not severe coming through Little Rock. They've been weakening steadily. We'll keep an eye on those. Those could uh, kind of push into uh, northwest Alabama about midday today. Pretty mild as the day begins. 61 for Birmingham, but look at Fort Payne. They've got 39. Another example of why this is not a one-number place when you forecast low temperatures, but we'll expect a high today up in the low 70s in most spots, much like yesterday. Around the nation, it is brutally cold up north. They're below zero in the Canadian border, but no fears. The core of that will stay north of the state. We'll drop about uh, 15 degrees tomorrow. Highs go back in the 50s. There's the watch warning map, a dense fog advisory for South Alabama as the day begins. And while we have rain and storms later today up north, they'll have snow. Got winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories for places like Chicago, Milwaukee, Detroit, and parts of New England. This is the convective outlook today. We've got the standard slight risk all the way from Natchez, Mississippi to Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, the higher tornado probabilities are well to the north of here. Uh, the 5% ring is over much of Kentucky, and uh, the chance of a tornado is only in the 2% bracket down here. We think the main threat will be from strong, gusty winds. This is a look at the uh, state of Alabama and the severe weather outlook. And uh, we've got the standard slight risk north of a line from Grove Hill to Montgomery and Lafayette. A marginal risk down to Mobile. Op, Troy, and Eufaula. No severe weather expected for the Gulf Coast or uh, the southeastern tip of the state. And, of course, we'll discuss this in detail in just a moment. Day two tomorrow, no severe weather expected. This is the rain for the next five days. Valid through Sunday morning. About one inch for North Alabama. Lesser amounts down to the south. That counts the rain we get later today. And a few showers Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. After that, things look good for Friday and the weekend. This is the GFS, the 060 run valid today at noon. There's your digging trough north and west of the state. A surface low is near Indianapolis with a trailing front. And again, that's not really the classic severe weather setup for us. This is the high resolution NAM valid this evening at 6 o'clock. And you can see the band of storms approaching Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Gadsden at that point. And that'll zip on through pretty quickly this evening. Uh, and again, this is probably going to be the big limiting factor. It's the instability. You know, just not much. Uh, under 1,000 joules per kilogram. The surface dew points where you see the, uh, the, the blue shades, that's where the dew point could hit 60. But most communities will see a dew point today between 55 and 60. And they're pretty low this morning. It's going to be a, a race to see if we can even make it that far. So... Uh, that will limit the overall threat. Low-level jets, somewhat marginal, about 50 knots. This is about 5,000 feet off the ground. This is the storm relative helicity, and that might support a few rotating updrafts. And the STP, the significant tornado parameter, mostly under one unit. So the overall threat is... Not overwhelming here, but storms could produce strong, gusty winds. Maybe enough to knock down a tree or a power line at spots. And I understand the chance of a tornado is not zero. This is our timing map here. But again, we stress a tornado not especially likely. But still, we've got to pay attention. These are the ones that can be pretty tricky, the ones that don't look like an overwhelming threat. But uh, uh, West Alabama, Central Alabama, 2 to 7 o'clock. East Alabama, 6 to 10. And we will be watching. Tomorrow will be sunny and cooler. The high will drop into the mid-50s. Thursday, you see that wave coming in from the west. Clouds increase. We'll have probably see some rain Thursday afternoon. This is Thursday evening at 6 o'clock. The surface low is north office. No severe weather. Rain not all that heavy. 
I guess maybe a little thunder, probably not, though. The air's not very unstable, hardly any surface-based instability. And then by midnight, it's all gone. I'd say rain amount should be under one-half inch with this feature. Friday, a bright sunny day with upper 50s. And a beautiful day to kick off the weekend on Saturday. Sunny with a high well up in the 60s and pretty much the same thing on Sunday. Some folks probably touching 70 Sunday afternoon. And you can see down there for the Gulf Coast, it looks delightful for the uh, weekend, for the spring break crowd. It might, folks might have a spring break next week. And Monday, same thing. We're in great shape. We'll be up there around 70. The sky will be sunny and the same thing for the Gulf Coast. Uh, this is a week from today, a big trough digging into Texas, West Texas, and a surface low forms, and that might be a severe weather look a week from today for the Arklatex region, places like Shreveport and Texarkana. And this is the following day, Wednesday the 9th, and that might be a severe weather day for us. Of course, it's way too early to be specific, but you can see a deep surface low way back off to the west with thunderstorms creeping through here. So um, you just get the idea this might be an active spring. We'll keep an eye on that situation. This is the end of the forecast period, uh, Thursday. You see the trough axis is still a little west of here, and still uh, we might have a few lingering showers at that point. Cold snaps. We always have late season cold snaps, but uh, no sign of any cold air for the first part of March, the first half of March. This is the anomaly look March 8th through the 14th, above average for the eastern U.S. Look at those numbers coming up there, pushing 70 by Tuesday of next week. That'll make for some unstable air. And the numbers back off a little bit out there toward March 15th. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here, if we can, if the weather's not too active by 4 o'clock this afternoon. And if you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.